Hi, I'm Andrea. Welcome to my channel. I need more lives. Hey guys, I just wanted to film like a quick weight loss update. Um, there has actually been weight loss uh, in October. I know it's December. In October, I did October. I did every single day except for one of the last days of October. And then the next day I did double workout. Um, sometimes I wasn't able to go outside just the way it is. We have construction going on up the road in the desert. They're building an airport. And some days it makes sandstorms. Well, right now they have a, uh, a pretty bad oil spill, so it stinks outside really bad. So it's not something that I want to walk in. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I was actually on a juice fast when I left off. You know, with Christina's death and everything, I just, I did not want to focus on food anymore. And I was actually really considering stopping this channel altogether because I really didn't care, you know. Um, I do care about my health. I do want to lose weight. Not for looks. Absolutely not for looks because I feel like when I do lose weight, I'm just going to be like a bag of skin um, because you can't stretch this much out and go back to how you're supposed to be. It's just physically impossible. So it's not for looks that I want to lose weight, it's for mobility, and it's always been for mobility. I want to do more, I want to go out, I want to hike, I want to ride my bike up a hill, which is still, it's like the basically the hardest thing ever for me. Um, I have some health problems that I don't know how much the weight is contributing to, uh, but my muscles are, my muscles and my nerves, they're just working against each other it feels like and at any moment it doesn't matter like how I move or how quickly or how slowly I move I can pull out anything um, I can pull something in my hand and my my muscles will just grab a hold of it and not let go um, I pulled my back out and my neck right now so when I bend my neck down when my chin goes down my my back actually goes like that and to hold in my muscles, my stomach contracts, and then my, when my stomach contracts, it grabs a hold of it and it doesn't let go. So um, I, t I just have to be very careful. And I don't know how much the weight is that problem, but um, yeah, I'm dealing with that. So I, I do want to be healthy. It's basically all I want. Um, I could care less what people think of me walking down the street, if they think I'm attractive or not. I really could care less. Uh, so it doesn't have anything to do about that. So I did the juice fast. And I was on the juice fast for 30 days. I keep wanting to say water fast because I love water fast. Water fast so much easier than juice fast for me. Um, I was on it and I really have a hard time committing to juice fast, but I wanted to give it a go. So the first couple of days were kind of gnarly for me, but then um, we actually had a date night and I went out and I had one meal. And then I was like, okay, I could probably go out once a week and have a meal not a cheat day not a whole day where I'm eating because that can get out of control but I could probably you know do this all week and then look forward to one meal at the end of the week so that's basically what I did and every other day um, I did water fast like two or three days in that 30 days where I had nothing but water but most of the days I was drinking at least one cup to three cups of juice so I was having like up to 18 carrots a day and I basically stuck with the carrots or the carrot and apple depending on how I feel that day. Apples kind of make me sick to juice um, but the carrots I was I was fine with and I didn't turn orange. I used to be a carrot baby and I was orange as a baby. Um, I didn't have any problem with that. Sorry for the noise. There's something going on in the parking lot, like always. <laughs> so I did really well with the Walktober that I did, and I did really well with the juicing. Well for me. Well for me. I, I probably could juice now if I was looking forward to a meal once a week, you know? But um, every meal that I did go out and eat, I actually gave my husband half of it. So it wasn't like I had, you know, a big, huge meal on that day. I had... Uh, one time I had noodles, so I had less than one cup of noodles. Anyway, you know, I didn't have that much food. I had like a normal size portion, not an American portion. 
I felt good the entire time I was on it. I noticed weight loss right away in my face. So the entire time for 30 days, I lost 18 pounds. And here and there, I have gained and lost five pounds, but I've maintained that loss. So as you know, I went to the States two times, actually kind of three times, but it, I went two times and the last time we stayed for 30 days. Every time I go to the States, it doesn't matter. As soon as I, you know, get to the States, I, I kind of go crazy. I didn't binge eat, but I did eat junk pretty much every single day. And that contributed to a lot of weight gain. And some of the weight I didn't lose before we went on the next trip. So I kind of accumulated some weight. So since we landed from May 1st until today, December something, I have lost a total of 40 pounds. And 18 of these pounds have been from just October. So I'm really happy about that. I have quite a ways to go to get down to where I was before. And I was, I was pretty happy with my weight before. It was like a year and a half ago. I was pretty happy with my weight. I'm not happy right now, not because of the number, but because of how I feel. This week, I have started recording all of my meals again, and I'm actually going on ketogenic, low-carb again. It's going to be more ketogenic than low-carb because um, I've learned some things, and I've learned that I need way more fat than what I was getting. I do feel good on ketogenic. I want to stress that I do feel great on ketogenic. In my brain, it feels like... Um, a kid is scribbling. That's how I feel all the time. It's anxiety, it's tension, it's stress, it's nerves, whatever. And I can't keep my mind focused on one thing. I've probably talked like 10, about 10 different things just now in this video without really getting to the point. But when you're on ketogenic, to me, if your body is, you know, good for that type of diet, it really calms you down. It it chills you out. It makes you feel good. It makes you happy. It puts a smile on your face. That's how I feel anyway. And anybody who is into like the low carb lifestyle and lives that way, I lived that way for two solid years without eating barely any carbs. Definitely didn't have a cheat day for two solid years. And I was able to lose 94 pounds, almost 100 pounds. I was able to lose that and keep it off for those two years, but I wasn't able to go further than that. And then I cheated and then blah, blah, blah. And then here I am and then I got pregnant and then I have a lot of excuses to why I gained weight. It's not an excuse, that's just what happened. When you try to explain to somebody, what happened? How'd you gain all that weight back? Well, I started eating again. I had this happen in my life. I had depression, I started eating. I, I got pregnant, I started eating. Um, I couldn't walk, I started eating. You know, um, yeah. It's not an excuse, it's just what happened. <laughs> and then I have some people who, they, they want to question water fasting and is water fasting good since you gained some weight back, I see. Yeah, water fasting is awesome. I didn't gain my weight back as soon as I started eating. Obviously, there were some times in there, like the times I went to the States, where I was eating junk every single day. And yeah, if you eat junk, you're going to gain your weight back. <laughs> That's, and I wasn't exercising during that time either to like try to balance it out. I was just, I was just on vacation. So I've like dealt with like this depression and my thinking and like been talking to my husband, Hadar, and... We've been talking about this, like, depression that I have been in and trying to work things out, like, questions like, what would make this better? What, what could fix this, you know? Like, certain things in my life that I dwell on that I can't get over. And I think that's been, like, the most important thing to get me over this, you know, to move on, to move forward and to go on and start again. I don't want to start again. <laughs> I, I really don't. I'm, I'm still in the mindset where I'm done with this weight thing. I'm, I'm done living in society with this weight thing, you know. Um, the, the comments that I 
get sometimes on my videos are just they're absolutely ridiculous and they're stuck in this world i i don't want to be in the the worldly sense of everybody else's thinking i believe it was eleanor roosevelt that said something like this no one can make you feel inferior without your permission and basically i i want to live my life like that i have been on youtube since 2009 taking many, many breaks during that time, but I've actually been filming my life for the past one and a half years, maybe two years. I don't know. I actually don't know. No, not two years. One and a half years I've been filming my life since the baby was six months and he just turned two years old. And over that time, I have gotten a lot of awesome friends, awesome comments, just uh, nice people all around. But sometimes you get, you know, a person that is not so nice and it makes you look at yourself and, and wonder, wow, what's wrong with me? But I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to put myself in their shoes and wonder, what the heck is wrong with them? <laughs> you know? Why would they waste time on me if they didn't like me? And I can understand some people's thought that, oh gosh, she's just not losing any weight. She's, she could do this and this and this, but she's not doing any of it. And she's just, she's just aggravating me. She ain't living up to what she could be. And I agree. I get aggravated with myself every single day. I'm thinking, wow, I'm going to have to be awake for 12 hours and I'm going to have to eat during this time. And what if I mess up, you know? What if, um, uh, what if I gain a couple of pounds today? It's going to take me a whole week to get it off, you know? Uh, I think that too. Dang it, I'm not living up to my potential, what I could be. But there is always right now. There's not tomorrow, there's right now, you know? And that's why I wanted to start the videos again to show what I'm eating because that was the one thing that really kept me accountable. The first time that I stopped that was when I found out that I was pregnant and I was eating a raw diet and I was like, Phew, thank goodness I don't have to film anymore. I'm pregnant. I'm going to eat, <laughs> you know, and then I ended up getting the SPD where I couldn't walk with it and that got me in trouble. If I had just kept like recording while I, what I was eating during that time, even if I didn't post it, it would have kept me accountable. There have been a couple of days in the recent weeks that I have went and ate something that I shouldn't have. I was sick and I ate ice cream. My husband bought it for me. It made me feel better. Uh, but that day I made sure that I didn't eat anything else. <laughs> That's all that I ate. Because I knew that I would have to come back on here and be like, oh, I gained a bunch of weight. But I didn't. I, I've kept my weight loss of 18 pounds. It hasn't budged since then. But... 18 pounds is what I lost, and 18 pounds is what I keep today, and that was uh, October 30th, and this is December or something, so for over a month, I have maintained 18 pound weight loss, so I'm happy with that. If I can get 10 pounds off this first month of starting ketogenic, I'll be happy with that, and I think that I can do it. Um, I think that I can do a couple pounds a week, at least when you're starting ketogenic diet, a lot of weight comes off within the first two weeks. So, so far, so good. And next week, my video will be everything that I eat this week. So, I'll see you next week. And thank you very much for sticking with me. I am trying. I do want to be healthy. And I do want to reach my goal one day. This year was supposed to be my year, but... I'm still living, so we'll see. But seriously, thank you for sticking with me. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. Here you can check out four of my latest videos on I Need More Lives channel, but I've also started a cooking channel called Fully Cooked and our daily vlogging channel, Fully Living. Have a great day. Take care.